He listens me as the day go on. Oh, oh. Welcome to Slaughter with Iron. Everybody, Today let's play the freeze party down. freeze dance. Are you ready? And remember when I say freeze, you freeze. <laughs> then remember when I say dance, you dance. Dancing, dancing all around. Dancing, dancing anywhere you please. Basta, basta when I say freeze. One, two, Three, freeze! Hopping, hopping all around. Hopping, hopping anywhere you please. Basta, basta when I say freeze. One, two, three, freeze! Skipping, skipping. All around, skipping, skipping, anywhere you please. But stop, but stop, when I say freeze. One, two, three, freeze. Twirling, twirling, all around. Twirling, twirling, anywhere you please. Black, brown, or gray, these large-sized apes are related to us human beings and have a total of 10 fingers and 10 toes. Can you get the animal? The full gorilla. Thank you for watching Smarter with IA. <laughs> Do you know about gorillas? Yes! Yeah. What can you tell me about gorillas? Gorillas can do this. What's that? Because, because gorillas are giants. They're giants? Yes. They're strong? Yeah. They have muscles? Yeah. They, and gorillas can do this. Oh, you're right. What does that mean? Because girls can do like this. <laughs> like me. Yeah. Um. Oh, oh. Girls eat fruits like bananas. They carry the baby gorilla. Is that all you know about gorillas? Yep. Okay. Mommy, can you tell me more about gorillas? Sure. Gorillas are herbivores and primates. Primates are mammals in the groups of lemurs, lorises, tarsiers, monkeys, apes, and humans. Gorillas fall under the apes group. Compared to other mammals, a primate is a mammal that has a large brain and a placenta, which connects a fetus to its mother, allowing for gas, fluid, and nutrient exchange. There are several differences between these primates. Apes are the only primates to 
not have a tail. Also, while non-human primates communicate with their bodies, humans use their mouth to communicate or talk. Humans can create new ideas and technology. Gorillas are the largest of all the primates and a relative of us human beings. There are two main species of gorillas, which are the western and the eastern gorilla. If you look at the gorilla, just like human beings, gorillas have 10 fingers, 10 toes, and 32 teeth. Don't go near a gorilla though, because they have a maximum of eight times the strength than a human being. Gorillas can stand up or walk on all fours, with both arms and legs touching the ground. We call these gorillas quadrupeds. Can you say quadrupedal? Quadrupedal. Great job. Usually when they stand up, it could mean that they are excited or upset. Their anger is expressed by punching their chest, tearing and throwing plants, stomping their feet, and striking the ground with their palms. Gorillas show many emotions, such as love, fear, greed, and pride. Gorillas are also smart when it comes to communicating, as they use 22 different sounds in body and facial expressions. Gorillas spend a third of their day searching for food. They can eat anywhere from 40 to 66 pounds of food, which consists of leaves, shoots, branches, vines, fruits, bamboo, worms, and insects such as ants and termites. Another third of their day is spent eating their diet. The final third of their day is sleeping. Their beds are nests found on the ground or trees made out of leaves and they never sleep in the same spot every day. They change their sleeping spot every day to avoid their predators such as leopards and crocodiles. When gorillas walk in groups, or what is called troops, you would see 5 to 30 mountain gorillas. The leader of the troop is called the silverback gorilla. The adult silverback, also called mountain gorillas, are located in the tropical rainforest of East and Central Africa. They are named silverback because of the silver running across their backs and hips. Silverbacks are known for their cone-shaped heads and small-sized ears. These mountain gorillas have thicker and longer fur than any other gorilla species. Their arms are longer than their legs, and they mostly spend their time on the ground, which makes them terrestrial. Can you say terrestrial? Terrestrial. Awesome. At 350 pounds, they can also climb fruits and trees, like these. Mountain gorillas are tall as six feet. Silverbacks are shy and gentle, but as the leader of the pack, silverbacks will protect their group from any predator. Adult females mate with only the silverback because of its size and strength. Mothers are so protective that they still carry their young even after they learn how to walk. Gorillas can live anywhere between 35 to 50 years. Here's a fun fact, chimpanzees and gorillas are able to learn sign language just like humans. Gorillas can identify their relative or family members through their nose prints. And younger male mountain gorillas, usually under the age of 12, are called blackbacks. Aye, yes. you have a swabby pal that sent you a letter. Yeah. Mommy, can you help me read it? Sure. It's a letter from Sarah. I have 
a great idea. Hi, IA. I have learned so much about animals. I am so excited to learn more from your show, and I would love to tell my friends about this. I don't really know much about lions. Can you talk about lions? Thank you. Thank you, Sarah. Thanks for watching. Sarah wants to know how to subtract 5 minus 2. 5 minus 2. 5 sticks. And you take away 2. That is 3. That's how you do it. Can you show your pals left and right? Yes, I can. What's your left hand? Right here. What's your right hand? This one. Another way to tell from your left and your right, try making the letter L, that is capital L, using your left hand with your index finger and your thumb. If you do that with your left hand, that's how you make a capital L. If you try it with your right hand using your index finger and your thumb, that's not how you make a capital L. What do we have here? A circle! A circle! I'm outside the circle. And around? I'm within the circle. And I'm inside the circle. You're in front of the circle or ahead. Go behind the circle. Or the back of the circle. Move to the side of the gift box. And the other side. So I have to jump over. Yeah. And go, and I have to go under. Under. You're right. Yeah, so I go jump and in. Turn left. Turn right. Top, middle, bottom. Which color is at the bottom? Purple. Which color is at the top? Yellow. Which color is in the middle? Green. What color is above pink? Um, orange? Orange. What color is above purple? Green. Good. What color is below blue? Uh, orange? Orange. What color is under blue? What color is above orange? Blue. Good. What color is over green? Um, yellow. What color is below pink? What I cannot see is what is it? I cannot see the next. All right, make sure you comment and please remember to click the subscribe button right below. The word of the day. Today is... Protect. A verb. To keep safe or guard from harm. 
Welcome, Swap V pals and families. Get yourself some new Swap V gear. We have full coverage face mask, a t-shirt, leggings, some tank tops, fanny packs, sweaters, phone covers, t-shirts, and more. For every mask sold, $1 is donated to a nonprofit to feed the children in need. Visit us today. A no man for little beard. Little beer? A snowman for a little beer. Yeah. You're so good at this. What is this? A snowman with some pupils and some mouth with the pupils and they have a hat and they carry a board and have some hands and the woods have no legs. What are the hands made out of? Sticks. And how about his face? His face looks like a dot. Dots? Yeah. As a mouth? Yeah, and the eyes. And half a carrot in his nose. Oh, and the nose is a carrot? Yeah. Yep, that's a snowman. Dad, you cannot put the carrot in his nose. Because it's for eating, not for putting on the snowman's nose. You're right. It's called a snowman for little beard. Little beard? Yeah, mommy, let's go and read it. Okay, what characters do we have here? We have um, a snowman with a scarf around his neck. Yeah. And we have... Little beard. A little beard. Okay. Yes, we did. Okay. This has two words in a word. That's called a compound word. When it has two words in a word. We're going to show our pals that in a different episode, okay? Okay. Next page. Okay, mommy, I will show the next page. What's this little bear doing? To throwing snowballs. He's throwing snowballs? Yeah. And look! She squealed with excitement. No one loved snow more than little bear. As fast as barely possible, she put on. She has a woolly hat with a pom-pom on top, a snuggly coat, a stripy scarf, some snow boots, and finally, mittens. So Aye, mm -hmm. what do you see? Little beard, and he's trying to wear it again. Wear what? And he putting the mittens back on. Yeah? Um, a hat. A hat? Yeah. With some pom-pom? Yeah. Pom-pom? Yeah. And a scarf? Yeah. His boots. Looks like socks, isn't it? Yeah. What is the little bear doing? Just running. On the, running? Yeah, on the snow. Does he look happy? Yeah, and... Excited? Look, yeah, look at his footprints. Footprints. Then, she raced out the door into the soft white snow. You see her? Mm-hmm. There we go. Whoa! What is she doing? She's just throwing and licking and throwing snowballs and doing an angel and lion and throwing the balls with the snow. Little Bear loved to make dragon's breath in the cold air. <laughs> she loved to catch snowflakes on her tongue. She loved to throw snowballs. She loved to make footprints and follow others. The bird. Yeah, the bird. Follow the bird. She loved to go fast on her sled. And she loved to make snow angels. And she especially loved to make a snowman after packing, rolling, and pushing, and lifting, and huffing and puffing. She took a step back to take a look. Hmm, I think something is missing. A family of downy sparrows had gathered to watch. 
and were excitedly tweeting about Little Bear's progress. News traveled fast, deep in the woods. What is Little Bear doing here? Um, just thinking about mm, some Christmas in. Oh, you're right. She's in the process of making a what? Snowman! You're right. Next, Next page. <laughs> oh, the rabbit came. And I got some carrots for the nose. Oh, okay, you're right. Along came Little Bunny. Look here, Little Bear. I have just the right thing. A snowman needs a nose. Of course, said Little Bear, feeling very thankful that Little Bunny would give her one of her precious carrots. But I think something is still missing. The downy sparrows tweeted as fast as they could. News traveled fast, deep in the woods. All of her friends trying to help Little Bear out. So who got the carrot for Little Bear? The little bunny. The bunny? Yeah. Okay. Oh, the mouse came. The mouse, the, oh, the mice came? Yeah. Oh, you're right. Along came little Dormouse and her seven brothers and sisters. Look here, little bear. We have just the right thing. A snowman needs a smile. Of course, said little bear, which made her smile. But I think something is still missing. The downy sparrows tweeted as fast as they could. News traveled fast deep in the woods. I see little bear and little rabbit, little squirrel, little mice. These are birds, they're called sparrows. But why that facing down right there? They're looking at all the activity. What's going on? Next page. Oh, there's a little fox. A fox, you're right. Yeah, a fox. Okay. A fox came. Yeah. Along came Little Red Fox. Look here, little bear. I have just the right thing. A snowman needs a scarf. Of course, said Little Bear, admiring the colorful woolly scarf Little Red Fox's mom had knitted. But I think something is still missing. The downy sparrows tweeted as fast as they could. News traveled fast deep in the woods. <gasps> oh, that was so nice of Fox. Yeah. What did the fox bring for a snowman? And little bear? A scarf! Green and light green. What is that, mommy? It's a type of bird. Along came little owl. Look here, little bear. I have the last missing thing. A snowman needs a hat. See the owl? Uh-huh. He's carrying the snowman's hat. Of course, said Little Bear, agreeing that the snowman was complete. Almost. See what they're doing? Mm -hmm. So the owl brought snowman a red hat. Yeah. Everybody's helping out. <laughs> Wait, squealed Little Bear. There's just one more thing. She hurried inside and a moment later returned carrying something very special. What do you see? I see you. I see a door with a heart cut out. Yeah. And who's peeking inside the door? Little Bill. What's this thing? That's a shovel. A shovel for the snow? Yeah. Okay. And say this. You tell me what this says. Look the hell close look here look here good job look here said little bear i have just the right thing why is little bear smiling <gasps> he has a heart yeah where'd that heart come from i don't know you said that the door has a heart yeah so the heart came from the door you 
right. And she had. The downy sparrows tweeted as fast as they could. The best ever snowman had been made in the woods. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at mice. They're playing with snow. Yeah. Owl looks excited. It's the red little fox and the squirrel and the bunny. They look all happy and other mice. They look so happy. Mm -hmm. And who's that? Little bear is so thankful for all of their friends' help. Deep in the woods on a cold winter's evening, Little Bear was stretching. Yeah. And yawning. Oh. Oh. Then, snoozing and... A snowman for Little Bear. Good job. The end. Yeah. Now we go to write the letter G. Capital G. When your child is starting to write a letter, a number, Capital or words of choice, G. depending on your child's level, it is best to print out a trace and ratio yeah. of your choice. I will leave in the description box the letter G for your child to trace. If you happen to not have a printer at home, or you're not able to gain access to your local library, then the other option of material is a laptop or a desktop. Then you can place a blank white sheet of paper over the laptop lightly and trace lightly. You do not want to damage your screen. That's right, there are two steps to lowercase g. Good job, pals! IA has a special gift for the lucky winner who answers the trivia question right. And there's a hint right there. Email us! Congrats, Kendall from New Jersey. It's game time! Which traffic light signal has the G sound? G. G. Stop. Slow down. Go. Replay, Replay and, and listen. listen. Go. Go. 
level 2. Which animal has the G sound? G. G. Hippo. Kangaroo. Dinosaur. Replay, Replay and, and listen. listen. Kangaroo. Level 3. Which fish have both G sounds? G and J. J. Angelfish. Seahorse. Goldfish. Replay, Replay and, and listen. listen. Angelfish and goldfish. Play that pause on the next episode of the letter H. And get to know me tag and more. Hi! Yes? Your pals want to get to know you. <gasps> so I have some questions I want to ask you. What, Mommy? Subscribe! Just for your support, IA will give you a nice happy birthday shadow on the next episode. Once you've subscribed, let IA shout you out on the next episode and wish you a happy birthday. If you have a birthday coming, email us. Thanks for watching. See you next time.